There is an awesome new tool that you can use for your chat to become way more interactive during your streams. And although there are some Twitch extensions that do allow this option, they force your chat to use bits to trigger things like sound effects. This eliminates all that, allowing not just voice features or sound effects, but also some video clips. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do this and more right now. Let's get into it. So guys, we do a lot of videos like this on our channel. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, if it helps you with your stream, or if you like to see some kind of helpful hint videos with games like Warzone or Apex, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Out of the last uh, few videos that we've posted like over 99% of everybody that watches these videos is not subscribed. So if these are helpful videos for you, be sure to drop a like and be sure to subscribe because we are putting out a bunch of more content just like this to help your streams and to also help your overall gameplay. Okay, so we're over here on Twitch on the extensions page in the dashboard of your Twitch. On the discovery page, we're gonna go over to my extension page and this is the extension that I'm talking about, sound alerts. Now, if I go to configure this, it's gonna open up to this tab and it's gonna open up to the dashboard of my specific extension. And you have a library of a bunch of different sounds, but the reason why I do not like this is because if I go to my sounds, it only allows me to have five sounds triggered by just channel points but you get 24 if it's by bits it's like twitch forcing you or your chat rather to buy bits in order to trigger these sound alerts for you to use the extension i find that silly and like desperate i don't know why it's not just on channel points another reason why we're not going to be using this we're going to be using trigger fire. Now you go down to the second URL I have down in the description down below for trigger fire. And when you open up the page, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to go up in the top right, obviously log in with your Twitch and it is going to ask you to verify it because I've already verified mine. It won't say that, but it will pop open with a window just for you to click authorize and then you're signed in and it's already up. So let me show you the first thing that you are going to need, and that is a WebSocket. Now there is a link down in the description down below, and I'll have that there. So it's labeled nice, easy for you. You're gonna click that link. You wanna scroll down all the way to the bottom. And if you're using Windows, this is the link that you wanna choose. If you're using Mac, there's a different extension for that, or there's a different link for that one, different download. But this is what you wanna download. And essentially this is a plugin for OBS. Now, what that looks like after you go into OBS is something like this. Now, if you've installed this and you had OBS up while you were running it, you wanna make sure that you close OBS down and then you open it back up and you're gonna come up here to tools and you will see this WebSocket server settings. This is essential to trigger fire. Just make sure that you have that. There's no need to go into those settings right now. Just make sure that you have that downloaded. Now, next, what you want to do is you want to go over to the next link that's right below that WebSocket link, and you want to go to the Trigger Fire site. And you are going to want to log in, obviously, with your Twitch. So come up here, log in with your Twitch as it's authorizing. And this is the one that you are looking for. This is the WebSocket address. So as soon as you have the WebSocket install, installed, what you're gonna do is come over here and click OBS. It's gonna connect right away. Then you're gonna come over to images or videos or sounds. Uh, obviously this is the OBS tab where you connected it. There's a group of triggers where so if you have a specific chat command, it can not just trigger a sound and a video, but it can trigger like all three. Say they're different ones that you have separate audio and a video file for. Well, you can make a group trigger for that. Now, until this gets tweaked, what you're gonna have to do is I would suggest adding in as many sounds and videos as you can images whatever it is try to adjust some of the settings like we did with this one where we put it at a different position made it a different size we saved it then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to refresh this page but not before you completely close down obs shut it completely down refresh this page 
so that when you refresh it, it's gonna look like this. To connect to OBS, open OBS back up, connect this, and then you'll be able to try your chat commands and then they will work. So if you're trying to adjust this in the middle of stream, you won't be able to. You'll have to close everything down and then reopen it, reset it, and then it will work again. As for right now, this is great because unlike the Twitch extension, you get way more than five options and you don't have to make your chat pay bits to do sound effects. But let's say I wanted to add a sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this plus button. I'm going to select a new sound. And because I already have one added here, if I didn't have one added, I'd go to upload and I'd either drag the MP3 file. And this, if this is a sound, if it's a video, obviously you want to use a WebM file, which if you don't know what that is, it's a, that's a quick Google search and you really can just convert an MP4 to a WebM file just with an online converter, it's real easy. And then you wanna drag it into here. Now, once you have your sounds or your videos or whatever it is, like I'm gonna add this one and I'm gonna call this one Big Bang. I'm gonna lower that down a little bit and then that's fine. Now again, you'll have to close OBS down, refresh this page, and then you'll come over to your chat. So then you go ahead and you type in the command for it. That's it, go killing you both. It's pretty easy. The only kind of hiccup is that you just have to refresh stuff. You can't do it in the middle of stream. But that's everything, you guys. It was just a quick tutorial on to show you how to get this installed, how to install the WebSocket. It's fairly, fairly easy, other than how you adjust the settings. But if you guys ever have any questions about this, you can jump into my Discord. I'm gonna leave my link to my Discord server down in the description down below. So if you have any questions, you can hop in there and ask in one of the help chats, or you can just leave a comment down below, answer most of the comments on my videos, just because I have the time to be able to do that. So any questions hit me there, stay busy. I'll see you in the next one. This guy. Bye.